Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ruds here. We're going to do a uh, travel shave of the day. As you can see, I already shaved my face and I fucked myself up because I don't use these very much on the face. I don't know how you guys do it. Anyhow, I'm in Kansas City, Kansas, uh, until Friday. But I wanted to uh, share what I'm doing this week to keep the dome clean. So, soap, spike cream. Brush is going to be my 24 millimeter sunrise with a blue whip dog handle. Throw that in the water. Razor. This is the Maggard V2OC open comb on a Maggard travel handle with a just Gillette silver blue blade. And for the aftershave, we're going to use this is um, a decanted uh, WSP lavender wood. So. Shake the brush out a little bit. Take a uh, dollop of cream in there. And we'll get this show on the road. Just came back from a uh, business dinner. Not a uh, not a great one. It, the client picked a uh, chain restaurant tonight, so that was rather unenjoyable. No beverage of the shave tonight. I got the. Uh, Cubs Indians game on in the other room there. Cubs are up one nothing. I'm pulling for the Cubs tonight. I'd like to see them in the uh, the drought. Sorry to anybody that's a uh, Indians fan. I don't know if I watered this too much. I'm not used to cream lathers, but we'll get there. Different angle, different angle on the shave tonight. There we go, we're getting there. Got two days of growth on the uh, dome. I opted to carry on as I normally do when I travel for business so I mailed the uh, blades to the job site I'm visiting so I didn't get them yesterday when we flew in so my last shave was Monday and it's Wednesday I think we're there This uh, travel handle is extremely short, but it's got good weight to it. So we'll see how we do tonight. It feels good. Gillette Silver Blues are my second favorite blade right now. Behind the uh, Gillette Platinums. I like short handles, but this is slightly shorter than I prefer. Well, way shorter than I prefer. But Maggards has a great deal on this handle. I think it was, uh, I want to say, eleven ninety five shipped with the Edge program. So there was a uh, 
quite a bit of buzz in the uh, shavedom today regarding a uh, particular article naming the uh, top five artisans and bottom, f bottom five artisans of uh, 2016. We had a little bit of buzz about it in the shave market. I saw buzz in Reddit about it. I think it was brought up in Razor and Brush. And uh, one thing you got to remember about lists like that is it's only one person's opinion. When it's written in a personal shave blog, it's strictly that one person's opinion. There's no uh, data gathered to see what the trends are or uh, what the majority enjoys or thinks is the top of anything. So anybody that's out there in, in the... Uh, shaving community, wet shaving community can share their opinion, but everybody should kind of make their own decisions in my opinion. Try things out. It's certainly nice to have some guidance, but I wouldn't ever let one source be your guidance. I would, I would check several recommendations, I would check several forums to see uh, you know what the majority says because typically the majority is uh, usually pretty close and it may not be for you but at least you'll have more than one source to base your decision on personally I struggle to make recommendations these days because I'm I've pretty much settled on three or four artisans that I can support based on my budget. Um, you may have noticed a lot of my reviews lately have been with samples that have been uh, piffed to me. And I enjoy sharing my opinion on those. But I, I just, uh, I don't feel the need to buy every soap that's ever released by every artisan. I don't have the uh, disposable income to do so. Wow, it's closer than I thought it was going to be. I reopened the little nick that I started the other night. That's good. Nice quick one. Let me uh, get cleaned up here. We'll come back for some closing comments. All right, we're back. We're all cleaned up. Nice smooth shave. Oh, I got a little nick there. So we're gonna uh, get some of this WSP going. Not a lot of alcohol burn going on there. Really smooth shave. I don't know if the dome feels extra smooth because there was two days of growth there. Not as feeling it all day or what, but feels good. A little more for the face. And that's going to do it for the evening. So just a quick recap. Spike Shaving Cream. 24 millimeter Sunrise in Blue uh, Navy Whip Dog Handle. Maggard V2 OC on Maggard Travel Handle with a Gillette Silver Blue Blade. And Decanted WSP Lavender Wood. I'll see you all this weekend. Until then, 
Take care.